my salutations and greetings to the entire ISRO family. On this very significant day, International Women's Day and Mahashivratri. This is my maiden visit. I will cherish it all my life. Before I formally begin, the room has more women than men. <laughs> that defines Bharat today. It's reflection of what happened on Kartave Path on January 26, 2024. It was all woman power. It is now woman-led development. A special congratulations to you and your fraternity. Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Thawar Jangaloji, Chairman Isro, Sri Sri Dhara Panikar Somnaji, Director U R Rao Satellite Center Isro, Sri M Shankaranji, Additional Secretary Department of Science, Sri Mati Sandhya Venugopal Sharma and distinguished directors, all associated with ISRO, who are present here physically and in attendance virtually. Sri Sunil Kumar Gupta, 1987 batch IS officer, an alumnus of IIT Kanpur, secretary to vice president, dear scientists, officials, staff, and all those in virtual attendance. It is an absolute honor, delightful experience to be at the heart of India's space exploration, power, and progress. I had the occasion to see it myself a while ago. I am greatly touched, encouraged, inspired, and motivated that continual rise of our Bharat will be sustainable, thanks to several factors, including that of ISRO. Congratulations and salutations to the entire ISRO family for your incredible talent and commitment under outstanding leadership of Chairman Sridhara Panikar Somnath for globally defining India's innovation and technological quantum jump. Friends, your stellar achievements, Chandrayaan 3 to name one, have showcased our scientific power, technological expertise on world stage, while enhancing the quality of life of millions of our fellow citizens. Your continued dedication to pushing the boundaries of space, exploration, and leveraging technology will certainly play a pivotal role in realization of Vikshit Bharat at 2047, a mission of our Honorable Prime Minister. Indian space program and its ecosystem have been in a state of unprecedented vibrancy with various achievements by ISRO. Nation is proud of your historic achievements in launching 432 foreign satellites from 34 countries and becoming the first and the only country to land on the lunar south pole successfully. We have Tiranga and Shiv Shakti points there. Thanks to this phenomenal achievement of ISRO that India celebrates today, August 23, as National Space Day. ISRO's success has ignited the fascination of masses and brought space technology to every household, which was evident when launch of Chandrayaan 3 broke the internet by becoming one of the most watched live streams on YouTube with over 8 million viewers. That was a day when our Honorable Prime Minister was out of the country. He addressed us after witnessing this historic epochal development. I had the occasion to change the channel swiftly 
only ISRO achievement was being shown. On all international channels, what an accomplishment. <laughs> ISRO's support in governance and disaster management through internal institutional mechanism has been a game changer. Who can know better than Governor State of West Bengal for three years? We were all day, always sounded alarms of super cyclones. But thanks to your efforts, it was so accurate prediction that there was not a single mortality on high seas. Timely steps could be taken. And imagine the scene that obtained a few decades ago. It from every angle, friends, is a quantum jump. Geo spatial support for flagship program, PM Fasal Bima Yojana and PM Avas Yojana is also a case in point. And mind you, these two impact those who are in great need of it, the farmers and the vulnerable segments of the society. Friends, ISRO's role in developing models of early warning of genesis, genesis, track, intensity, and landfall at par with global benchmark is commendable. There was a time on a lighter note I can indicate to you. Mosam vivaag kata tha aaz barsat hogi, to aaz mein nishchint ho jata tha ki aaz nahi hogi. He was so sure about it. And now, it is 100% accurate. I must particularly on International Women's Day commend ISRO's for its culture of gender diversity in all its endeavors and inclusivity in decision-making process. It's a great day. International Women's Day 2024 theme, Invest in Women Accelerated Progress. That is the theme. There is a campaign theme also inspired inclusion. I have no doubt after what I've seen here and what I know of ISRO, ISRO has exemplified it in action. ISRO is a befitting example to other organs how this has been brought about already. Presently, I'm told there are about 20% women and 30% here. In scientific and technological area, more than 500 women employees in leadership roles at different levels in managerial and administrative domains, including leading a center. But let me tell you, I have slight digression also. A woman is always in leadership role, right from the birth. You look back and reflect, you'll find it. As a sister, as a mother, as a grandmother, as a companion, you'll find leadership best defined. Friends, some of the major projects that have been led by ISRO at the spearheading level are women. I need not reflect. Enough has been talked about, but it's a ground reality. We are proud of it. India's rocket women are leading us to the sky and beyond. They have broken ceilings for themselves and also for our progress to go beyond benchmarks set earlier. The targeted Indian space economy, as was reflected by the chairman, will be, if I'm not mistaken, five-fold in next 10 years. He has been very modest that even by then our component will be not what it should be. But I have no doubt it will not be arithmetic. It will be geometric and will catch up with what is our due. I must particularly commend that these are the days when your diplomatic power matters. Your voice in global committee is heard when diplomatically you are seriously taken. G20 was one such great occasion that showcased the might and civilizational ethos of Bharat. And everyone who came here went 
with realization that this is a country that will define global order. Role of ISRO in emergence of India's diplomatic soft power is no less. I express my deep sense of gratitude to the entire ISRO family for having made this commendable, significant contribution to our power as a global leader. I have no doubt that Bharat at 2047 will not be just a developed nation. It will be much beyond. It will be a global space power. Friends, let us continue to reach for the stars, not just for the glory of our nation and the goal of Vixit Bharat at 2047, but for the betterment of humanity as a whole. I don't want to take more time, but Mr. Chairman, before I conclude, I extend an invitation in my capacity as chairman of Rajya Sabha. Whenever any member of his family or his family members or her family members can spare time, I will dedicate an officer who will facilitate visit to the Indian Parliament <laughs> and be my guest. Thank you so much.